I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing how to find solution for linear trigonometric equations. The question here is to solve 2 cos x plus 1 equal to 1 where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. So we are given the equation 2 times cos x plus 1 equal to 1. We can divide by 2 both sides. So we get cos x plus 1 equal to half or cos x equal to half minus 1 and solving we get cos x equal to minus half. So once we get the value of the trigonometric ratio what we need to figure out is that cos x equals to minus half means how many solutions right. So let's figure that out uh, which we could do by sketching the graph and then looking into it. So cos x basically is a function which starts with 1 goes to minus 1 and then back to 1 within the domain 0 to 2 pi right. So so it is from 1 to 0 to minus 1 as you move from 0 to 2 pi right and then back to 1. So that is what cosine function is. We are looking for cos x equals to minus half that means somewhere here. So what we get here is two solutions, right? These are the two solutions. So we are looking for two solutions. These are steps to understand to really get to the solution. So I'm exploring all these steps one by one so that you can understand how we figure out the answer. We could also find the quadrant in which these solutions lie using the cast rule. Um, what we know is that, uh, let me write down the cast rule here, C-A-S-T, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2, tan in quadrant 3, cosine in quadrant 4. Now we are looking for cos x to be negative half. Now negative means cos will be negative, it will be in quadrant 3 or in quadrant 2. So in these two quadrants, cos function is going to be negative. So we are looking for two solutions and they lie in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3 respectively. Right. So that is what we are looking for. Now how to find these solutions? To find these solutions, we really find the related acute angle, right? So we try to find the related acute angle, which is right there, right? So this angle alpha, we are trying to find. So we solve for cos alpha equal to half. So we could do alpha equals to cos inverse of half. So let's use the calculator to figure this out. The setting should be in radians, right? Radians. So shift, let us set this to radians and then we do cos inverse of half or 0.5, right? We'll do 1 divided by 2 and that gives us pi by 3. So alpha for us is pi by 3. Therefore, this angle is equal to pi by 3. That is the related acute angle. Once we know the related acute angle, we can find both these solutions. So what are these solutions? We can see these solutions are one solution is this much, right? This angle is alpha, correct? So that is x is equal to pi minus alpha. So one solution is x equals to pi minus alpha, which is pi by 3 for us. The other solution is x equals to that one, right? So which is uh, this, right? So we add alpha, right, to pi. So pi plus alpha. So alpha is pi by 3. So we could say pi plus pi by 3, correct? So pi minus pi by 3 could be written as 3 pi by 3 minus pi by 3, right? So... which is 2 pi by 3, right? So we get 2 pi by 3 as one solution and here 
we get 3 pi by 3 taking common denominator plus pi by 3 gives us 4 pi by 3 is it okay so we get our solutions and the answer therefore is x equals to 3 2 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3 4 pi by 3 so these are the steps involved to find solution for a linear trigonometric equation so the steps is first to get an idea how many solutions are we looking for in the given domain where do they lie find related acute angle first and then find both the solutions so these are the steps involved to find solution for a linear trigonometric equation i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best